I just downloaded the UBA 2.5 version and there are a couple of things that I like. Let me share what I see uh, different in it. So if I look for this particular user, again, I can go here or let's say that I have an offense and I want to uh, look for Ricky. Uh, no, Rick, but Ricky, yeah, I, I go here, I get to the same place, right? So the one thing that I like the most is that when you click here in ex expanding the activity, instead of being sent to Curator for the events, you now get a contextual search that, for example, here, because this is URL, it puts URL information. If this would have been geography, would have put, would have put countries, you know. So it, it is context aware. And I can actually click on one of those uh, particular events. This one, for example, is an offense that fired because the user went into a, a particular uh, place. I can see the category, the geography, and this is clickable. And this takes me to the asset. For I don't have any data for that asset, but that, that drives me st straight into it from it. It's actually fairly useful. I can also, the, in this quick filter, I can do searches like, for example, let's say that I'm searching for 144 uh, and notice how it begins to, you know, put the, the, the matches. I can search for, you know, TCP, uh, TCP hit, uh, you know, whatever you are searching on all those events. One thing that is very important to emphasize is that when I look at the event, these 105 events in here, these are the event that fully match the rule, this rule, user accessing risky URL. So this, in, this, this omits the partial matches, which is very nice because when you have both, if you were to just to be thrown into Curator for all the events, then it is a lot harder to find uh, the ones that, that that fully match, which are the most uh, relevant. Let me see what else. Also, in this graph, you have the same capability. Of if I'm, you know, going in here from the timeline, or I can actually click in here and I get the same view, you know, with the same capabilities. I can search the entire payload. You know, very, it's much friendlier to search for data in this way. I also like very much the timeline. I just started playing a couple of logs here uh, for testing the application. So I can see, you know, at 5 p.m., at 6 p.m., uh, what actually happened. And I can click, you know, here at uh, 6 p.m. and see all those particular events. So if I get an offense or I want to investigate what the heck Ricky Bobby was doing that particular day at that particular time, I can I just need to go to that you know, narrow my search between, you know, the, the, the 26 and the 27, for example. Or I can make it from 26 to 27. I can apply and I can get those, just uh, those uh, two days and I can do my investigation. And again, the fact that I get to see only uh, those f fully, uh, those fully, the, the test condition that, and the events that fully match the, those uh, test conditions that fire the offense is actually very useful. Another thing I like a lot is that I have this button that I click View in Curator. And that not only takes me to, to Curator, but also notice that it now gives me the actual AQL search that was used for that particular view. So I, ac I can actually take this and modify it for a report or for whatever else that I'm, that I'm actually doing. Imagine building all this from scratch would be, I think, a little uh, too much work. So that is a nice feature as well. Of course, I can sort the events by time or by, by URL. You know, and here is, uh, it's only one URL, so I'm not going to be seeing the difference. Let me go into another another event that may have a, a mixture of those so I can actually you know pivot and, and filter that by URL or by time very useful much easier to look for data here 
all these uh, new improved URL, uh, improved views or ways of viewing the data are, all, are also available by uh, on the machine, learn, uh, machine learning component. I don't have that installed because I travel too much. I cannot have the machine working uh, for a couple of days in order to derive the baseline that machine learning needs. But uh, from the documentation, everything uh, works the same for machine learning. Uh, and speaking of documentation, this help and support button is also new. And it's actually pretty good. Some people, you know, were saying, well, the, it's hard to find the documentation for UBA. Well, here there are a couple of useful links related to UBA. These are a couple of tutorials. In fact, I believe I did this one myself. Uh, so, new videos. And this is actually excellent. In the past, for you to get the logs for UBA, you either need to get all the curator logs or you need to know how to get into the container, the doc container, and extract the log from there. Not anymore. You can actually click here and you get a zip file that has all the data that support needs to look at the, at the particular incident. Or you can actually click in here and make sense out of those logs if you are an advanced user and want to see the logs right there. Finally, there's a, a, a piece that is actually quite useful, which is this clear UBA data, and there should be one that is clear ML for machine learning data, but again, I don't have the machine learning set in here. Uh, so, so you can either click clear the entire thing including UBA or there is a separate button if you have machine learning installed to clear that part only and this is cool because you can actually click in here and if I get to, to click on yes it's gonna reset all the UBA data but it will keep all your settings as well a lot of uh, usability feature this this tool uh, gets uh, gets it's getting more and more mature and with releases coming quite often I really